Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Tuesday, March 24th, and it's now 10.06. This is take two. <laughs> I accidentally shut off the camera when I wanted to play what I was going to play. So, warning to you with earplugs, I'm about to play something that I found through a link uh, sent to me in an email. This is Steve Fletcher, but it is not... Uh, his usual okay he's telling you what's going on he nearly gets in tears saying where are you Lord well, where is the rapture hey I'm getting that way myself but we have to keep faith and know the Lord knows what he's doing he's allowing this for a reason alright take a listen good evening this is Steve Fletcher with the trumpet for my people Today is March 22nd, 2020. I want to share with you a list of states within the United States and a list of countries that have all gone to complete lockdown. And uh, this was very depressing, putting all, this, all of this information together because the list of countries is very long. And it took me uh, quite a long time to get the information together and uh, while they are moving at breakneck, breakneck speed to implement uh, the New World Order, I just shared this clip in a video all by itself, but I want to uh, share it again here uh, at the beginning of this video and uh, discuss this with you. Uh, message to the hoarders. If you got any large quantities of material that this country needs right now, get them to market or get them to us. We'll pay you a fair price. But if you don't do that, uh, we're, we're going to come for you and make sure that doesn't happen in this country. And that would be a good use of the Defense Production Act. Sorry. We're going to come for you. If you do not get your supplies to market or to us, We'll pay you a fair price. We're going to come for you. One more time. Yeah, yeah, the message to the hoarders. If you got any large quantities of material that this country needs right now, get them to market or get them to us. We'll pay you a fair price. But if you don't do that, uh, we're, we're going to come for you and make sure that doesn't happen in this country. We're going to come for you. Okay. Did you catch that? Now, the, I was trying to listen. He cut it off before you. I think he said that would be a good use of the National Defense Fund money to come after people who have done their due diligence. To, well, hoarders. Yeah, there's one thing about doing your due diligence, stocking up. Maybe you've done it over time. See, here's the thing about it. That's why they put chips in the debit cards and the credit cards. They can track every single purchase you've ever made anywhere unless you were wise and bought it with cash. But if anybody has more than they think you should have bought, apparently they're going to come to your door knocking on the door wanting it. We're going to come after you? Really? It's come to that. And Steve goes on to talk about it. And like I said, he gets nearly into tears thinking we're still here for this. When are you coming, Lord? That's my question. Jesus, where are you? But we have nothing to fear. I pray that none of you have hoarded more than you need. But how do we know what, how much they think is hoarding? They can't blame me. I only got a, one pack of four rolls of toilet paper. I just happen to have extra left from last month. I bought it toward the very end of the month. Toward the end of the month. So I still had several rolls, but I wanted two more packs of 12. <laughs> I couldn't get them. 
they were already being so sold out, you know. Now, maybe they would have thought that was hoarding. Two packs? I mean, I don't know what, you know, they didn't specify, did they? He just said his little piece and got off the podium. He didn't want any questions. So now we've got that one guy who made a mistake of slipping that it, this was a hoax, the biggest hoax of the day. And before that, he said this was a live exercise. And now you've got this guy. I'm sorry, I don't know his name. He's, he's short. He's, let me, let me back up Steve's video and see if I can. Let's see if it, it uh, he's real bald on top, but he's got blondish white hair, very short, very short guy, shortest one of all these. I don't know him, so I don't know who he is, or what position he has, probably in FEMA, I don't know. National Guard. He spoke of the National Guard Defense Fund. Perhaps, I don't know. But I wanted to share this with you, this whole video. Um, he goes into some other things. The, uh, the list of countries that are on lockdown. Then there's some that are just borders are closed. It, and it's I don't know. I, I, st I still contend it's the flu. And like that guy said, it's a live exercise. They're using the flu because it does kill people. And whatever happened in China was probably a result of a combination of the vaccination, the virus, and maybe a more altered virus. And the 5G. Perhaps. I don't know. Only God knows and the ones who are doing it. So with that I'll say bye for now. I pray this will go up. And I'll go ahead and plead the blood of Jesus over myself and my computer. My internet connection. And over each and every one of you and your internet connections and your devices. So we can stay connected until we're out of here. Thank you all for your prayers for my little dog. I think he's better. He's showing signs of improvement. And even though he's, he's still struggling to just roll over in bed, he's still weak. Whatever, whatever it is, it's improved already. Thank you for your prayers. God bless each and every one of you. Bye for now. I'll talk to you later.